In today's video, we're going to talk about how that SOS picture from an entire year ago leaked Splatoon 3. If you guys are not subscribed yet and you enjoy that video, hit that sub button. It helps me out a lot. It's free and you can always change your mind. Enjoy. We're going to go over some quick news, but if you want to go to the SOS stuff, skip to this timestamp on the screen right here. I'll see you there. Alright, some current news we got here, ladies and gentlemen. Nintendo, just on their Twitter, threw out a couple stuff. Uh, they had a few pictures. First one. Uh, they had was like the the HUD for the it's just if you're playing a regular game and in the top right corner where your sub is there's two there's two subs one look like a spray can another one is just a regular splat bomb but there was a plus sign there so I was like dude am I gonna like combine these or do I get two subs I don't know that was kind of spicy okay we also had the new special where it was I was talking about it in my last video go check that up here top right corner of your screen uh, that was pretty hot okay it had like the it's like little tiny killer whales there's like four of them uh, it was in the trailer too. I don't know what that was about. That was pretty cool. And then the picture also confirmed the special weapon of the Inkzuka that fires three shots or maybe like three consecutively or three at a time. I don't know. Uh, we only got that trailer, so I mean, yeah, who knows, but let's move on to the salmon crud. All right, so a while back before the final Splatfest, Splatocalypse, we had the picture of Chaos, the Order, left and right. We had Salmon on the left side. Uh, interestingly, we had Sheldon. Uh, Grizz and Judd in the middle. So obviously, it's kind of interesting how Grizz is in the middle. Maybe still saying that the outcome of that wouldn't change anything, but I would also beg to differ from what we're going to talk about in a few minutes here. Now, Salmon on the left side. Now, obviously, if Order won, Chaos won, if Order won, then maybe we have Futuristic with more hints of, a little less hints of Chaos than we do now, but obviously, it resulted in Chaos. And the salmon are, I don't, we don't really know. I mean, we haven't really seen anything in the trailer, so it's kind of hard to say, like, what has happened, uh, other than the little chum buddy. So, what are we going to have from that for Salmon Run? I don't know. Is something going to replace Salmon Run? I'm going to probably also have Story, and obviously we're going to have uh, Story in multiplayer, but Salmon Run or Mako Missions, that was something else. You can check that video out. I'm just plugging shit, like, 24-7 here, bro. But then, in the beginning, you know, Splatoon was pretty much over. We had the Splatocalypse in, like, the end of the summer. And then, bam. All right, bam, bam, bam. Actually, it was more like the fall. 2020 hits, obviously. I love how the picture says, have a great 2020. Pretty ironic, if I do say so myself. But we do have the famous 2020 picture that people will analyze pretty much. The Save Our Salmons. People found that out pretty easily. But then people started trying to dig in around some other stuff, which was kind of kind of interesting. Uh, we can see these bubbles on the side here. Uh, I also talked about it on the video. I'm not going to plug that because that was a while ago and it was an okay video. I'm, I, I, I admit it, bro. I'm self-aware. But they're like bubbles that form threes on the bottom left and bottom right, I believe. So it was like, yo, we got a three here. Uh, that's kind of... Uh, then we also have just to save our sandwiches in kind of just anything i mean they're literally just it's literally in the water there so like did the spy fest cause that would the salmons would that picture have gotten released if we didn't have the uh spot like if order one would this picture still be around i don't know i feel like it they probably would but it would be a little bit more futuristic uh kind of a game if order one but maybe still like a little corrupt you know city kind of kind of interesting uh but then we also have the ship on the back top of the frame which is just like Kind of interesting because it's like, I mean, it's, I don't know, it seems really late at night on this picture here. And the same enough kind of doing something else. And then we have like the Grisco ship just chilling there. So it's like, is the ship doing something in the background? I don't know. Maybe. SOS. Maybe. Uh, people also said there was like shapes of other stuff in the stars and like the black on the left and right side of the screen. Uh, so that was kind of weird. But I mean, I don't know. I didn't really see anything. I tried to brighten and like darken the image. Couldn't really find anything. Uh, Nintendo also later released the infamous uh like hair picture where that one octoling girl had her hair that looked like a three and it was like dude there's a three we have splatoon three these are pretty good signs i would say and i mean obviously you could say that it worked and i mean i don't know would you say that's a coincidence i mean like why would they release pictures if it's over you know like maybe you know, I, I don't know dude i just feel like that they wouldn't end the game like that you know and they didn't i mean they didn't and the SOS, as we think, probably goes to the, as where the trailer heads in, uh, the new city of, well, the city is called the uh, City of Chaos, or the uh, Splatsville is called the City of Chaos. So, obviously, connections there from the Splatfest. And then just the ruined Splatlands in general, everything's like a desert. I mean, there's trains going across, but it's like, dude, there's no water for the salmon. So it's like, I mean, obviously they can live on water, but for how long, or out of land, how long, I don't know. Probably not that long. I mean, they're 
fish, dude, but then we're squids, so I don't know, dude. I don't know. This game's weird. A lot of the background inside of the trailer that was like those trains that were taken down are probably from, and like how the Eiffel got flipped over, was probably from like the, uh, the thing that went, had the humans go extinct and was like kind of like the main thing, uh, like the Splatoon 1 lore and that kind of stuff. But I feel like this game is probably going off of. Because they talked about rising sea levels in the first game. They're like, oh, they got to compete for the land with the turf wars. So, but it's like, dude, now we got a bunch of land now. So it's like, where, like, what happened to those rising sea levels? Which is probably the chaos that the Saber Salmons was talking about. So it's kind of interesting. Um, I mean, I don't know too much. I'm just speculating 100% here. Not really sure if they could have anything else other than that. I mean, the order probably will still have. I mean, like if, if the order won, it probably would have been the same exact game. But I just don't really know. I mean, maybe not. The city might have been different. Maybe some of the maps are different. Uh, maybe the storyline a little bit different. I mean, I don't know if Cali or I don't even know. Was it Pearl or Marina? I don't know. Whoever the opposite squid sister got stolen in the single player, it probably would have been the exact same single player. So, um, I mean, other than like the uh, surroundings and the story, I don't think it would have been that much different. Like people are like, oh my god, it's totally different because it's Splatfest. I mean, this one seemed like it was different, but I can still see like a chaotic, uh, futuristic world. So, I mean, either way, it's like, okay, we're in like a, a corrupt, chaotic, futuristic world either way we go either way it's chaos i mean or i guess it would be order not chaotic or be or just instead it would be order but it's still corrupt so it's like is it really order probably not i do remember one thing this is a little cringe but from the one marvel uh Avod, Avod, fuck dude learn to talk age of ultron movie uh vision says a uh, human thing there's a difference between chaos and order which is kind of i don't know like i still like i still like that movie i don't know, I like it and it kind of just reminded me of that and i was like huh that's kind of funny um because I, th I think i like just watched it again i don't know sometime whatever after spot and i was like hmm, that kind of made me think of that and i was like that is kind of interesting uh it like it maybe not a change the game just the settings a little bit you know i mean not the, not the settings but like you know where it's set you know i don't know what do you guys think tell me what you think down below in that comment section would the game be different i mean it probably not changed some stuff i don't know it would have been interesting uh, stay tuned next week for some spicy, uh, spicy video. It's gonna be a little different than normal, but I, it'll still be Splatoon, but I mean, like, it'll be, it'll be pretty cool. And, uh, we're almost at 1,000 subs, so, like, you know, like, we're almost there, dude. Q&A 1,000? I don't know, we'll see. I don't know, I feel like that's too early. Uh, but we're gonna see where we can go. Until next time, hope you guys have had a beautiful day. Have a good rest of your day, or nighttime, or sleep, whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you guys later. Peace! little like the old spawn pad is there so can we choose the which like which one we can do is it maybe a uh, game type specific on which one you use i don't know nintendo did say there was two new movements or at least new movements that they showed this might be more but i don't know there was that one it's called, like the ink roll where you go forward it looks like a substrafe jump